Hey guys, I'm Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at something really, really awesome, and it's just been released by Unity, and it's their new starter asset, so first person and third person controller. And don't forget to put a like on this video, because it would really, really help me out, because the videos have been struggling recently, and every single person who can do it would really be absolutely awesome. And I was just doing my normal routine on a morning, looking through the Unity Asset Store. I usually filter by free assets just to see if anything else has come out. And I usually search, oh, you know, what was out in the last week. And I think, I'll look at the top and see starter assets for first person and third person. Something that I've been wanting Unity to do for the last eight years. And I know there was an original standard assets that was available where you can get the standard assets and, you know, walk a character around and the third person controller was kind of okay. But now we've got access to these two. They are only available in 2020.3 and above. And you can import those via the package manager. You can go Windows and you can go package manager. And then you will need to search for in the drop down of my assets. And then you can search for the starter and import the two assets. They work together in the same scene. So I'm just going to go through and show you exactly what they are. So they use Cinemachine and the new input system to control how they work. When you select the player capsule, you will have the standard parameters for movement speed, sprint speeds, controlling the gravity, how much jumping you can do, the jump timeout, different layers, the inputs that you can use, the actual inputs for this particular movement and any rigid body actions. And when you play your little game, you will have a much more robust FPS controller that is much more smooth when you rotate around, when you just look, you can jump, you can sprint, you can run, you can do all the basic things and it takes into account collisions and rigid body actions. And the one I'm most impressed about if you select for the third person and you can select and look around the playground asset it does pretty much the same thing a more robust third person character which has walking sprinting jumping with animations with a different character model different character controller a smooth look rotation when you look around your object ability to jump with you know the nice set of animations be able to walk and to be able to just create yourself something that you can have a really good base to something the way you can change the model, change the animations, change everything from there. But I think this is an actual fantastic day because it's about time that Unity actually made a set of standalone controllers for both first and third person that you can take and run away with as you want. So be sure to take a look at these two on the Unity Asset Store. Let me know what you think if you think these are cool ideas. Come and support me on Patreon and get access to scripts, projects and everything that you've seen in my tutorials. Come and join me on Discord. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe because it would really, really help me out. So thank you so, so 